Peace be with you. We are delighted to have with us today a kind of second generation Haitian. Haitians were born here and who are really contributing to, uh, the, uh, to the United States. So, uh, good morning. This is, what's your morning, name? Christina Pardo. Christine Pardo. Pardo. Yes. And you were born here. I was born here. But from, from Haitian parents, yes. right? And your parents are from? From uh, Cavaillon, Haiti. Cavaillon. It's Cavaillon is in the Haiti. south, close to Lake Caille. Yes. Very, 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 uh, very pretty little village. Yes. Huh? Okay. I'm biased to the south. <laughs> oh, very, very good. And uh, But you were born here and you have brothers and sisters? I have uh, one younger brother, uh -huh. uh, Christopher uh, Pardo. Pardo. Very good. Now, you grew up here, you went to school here, okay? And uh, you, as a child, did you ever go to Haiti as a child? Yes, the first time I went to Haiti, I was two years old. Two years. And, uh, uh -huh. you know, thankfully, my, my parents raised us to be very proud of our culture and, and uh, was fortunate to spend time in Haiti with the family that are still there. So, on aime Haiti. On aime Haiti un peu. Okay. <laughs> Malgré que c'est ici au Grandi, oui. c'est ça. <laughs> Et then you went to high school here. Yes. And then which direction did you go to? Into? So I uh, went to college in Washington, D.C., Howard University. Uh -huh. uh, then I decided I wanted to go into medicine. Medicine. Um, but I wanted to be able to use my career to, um, to help Haiti and somehow. So I... I went to medical school and I did my master's in, in public health. Master's in public health. And you're a doctor, right? I am a doctor. And yes. you are specialized mostly in? In uh, obstetrics and gynecology. I actually did my training here in Brooklyn at SUNY Downstate. Very good. So obstetrics means for fiki enceinte, for pregnancy and for childbirth, pour accouchement, and also for gynecology, ça veut dire pour maladie médamio, maladie fio, gynecology. And um, do you find this uh, science to be exciting? Oh yes, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing to be able to take care of women through the majority of their life, from teenage years to uh. Uh, when they're older, to childbirth and uh, being able to be everything for a woman. Oh, okay. And uh, are women very different from men, yeah. medically speaking? <laughs> I, I like to say I, I am uh, uh, biased and uh -huh. I, I only treat a woman, so I, uh -huh. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> oh, you can tell us. Okay. That says that God made us male and female, <laughs> made us. And it says it is not good for the man to be alone. <laughs> they have to relate to each other. Okay. And they are of equal dignity, female and male. Um, when did you become a doctor, a gynecologist? When was that? How many years ago? So I completed my training in obstetrics and gynecology five years, well, five and a half years ago in 2013. Very, very good. And you work now mostly at which hospital do you work at? So I, um, following my residency, I, I went to Long Island to, um, for several years and to start a career in global health. And I just returned back to Brooklyn to SUNY Downstate about two months ago. Uh, only two months ago. And apparently they are, there is a good portion of the clientele that is Haitian, eh? Yes. Yes. Donc, l'hôpital la, la, Brooklyn, là, il pensait que presque 30% clients qui viennent, c'est haïtien, vous voyez, hein? And, et il est venu là précisément parce que le remède haïtien, il remède mettait connaissance li, le service population haïtienne, ni diaspora, ni population haïtienne qui est en Haïti. Yes. Vous comprenez? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. I, I like to say that... Um, I chose Downstate for residency because when you walk in the door, the signs were in English and Creole. And so I knew uh -huh. that that's where I needed to be. And uh, you do go to Haiti too, don't you? I do. So I um, decided to follow a path in, in global health because I wanted to work in Haiti. Um, and so since residency, I have traveled back and forth 
and worked with different um, uh, organizations, and I continue to do that now. Okay. And you say you go to Haiti how frequently? Now, uh, about every six to eight weeks, uh, I travel to Chaque Haiti. Chaque six to eight semaines, voilà que le docteur allait en Haiti. And what do you do when you go to Haiti? So I, I've worked with different uh, hospitals. I do uh, medical education training. Medical education training uh, for students? For uh, medical students? For students, for colleagues, so gynecologists in Haiti, to train on different uh, topics. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we are doing a uh, development uh, project. I'm working on a development project in Akai, Haiti. Uh, and so you're now working on a development uh, program in Akaye. Everybody knows what mm -hmm. Arcaille. Yes. It's, it's a historic place, yes, you know. That's yes. where the, the flag, the flag, yes. the flag was made <laughs> in Arcaille. Very good. Otherwise, you also go to Lekai sometimes. I, uh, you know, it, it's a family requirement that when I'm in Haiti, I have to go to Cavaillon. <laughs> Always. Chaque fois la Haiti, fois la Cavaillon. Okay. Je suis le gain famille Cavaillon yes. toujours. Yes. Okay. Ils comprennent le créole très bien. Ils parlent créole un petit peu, mais ou, ou pas fort en créole. Hein? <laughs> Dites deux mots en créole pour mon yotan. Vous pouvez parler en créole pour tout le monde là. Vous pouvez parler créole. Si vous venez moi, je parle créole avec <laughs> Ok. Et vous parlez français un petit peu également. Oui, je parle français aussi. Uh, um, quand j'étais petite, c'était ma première langue ah, française. Vraiment? Uh -huh. Mais quand j'étais uh, um, en l'école, ils ont dit à um, mes parents que je dois parler anglais. Uh -huh. so, ils ont you know, fait un petit... Um, uh, uh, ils ont... Um, un petit recul un, par oui, rapport de, de aux français. français. Oui. Très bien. Bon. Alors, euh, le WAP soin haïtien qui a l'hôpital le SUNY Hospital, c'est-à-dire le Brooklyn Hospital, qui maladie au pire rencontré la mesdames haïtiennes? Oui, well, mesdames haïtiennes, nous voyons que vous venez de Haïti uh, pendant une enceinte. Et yo, pendant une enceinte, vous sautez à Haïti, vous oui, venez ici oui, pour accoucher. Oui, pour accoucher. Um, so we have to make sure we take good care of them. Uh, when they uh, arrived to New York to, to deliver with us at uh. a SUNY Downstate. And you say that there is a certain incidence of uh, mor mortality, huh? So there we do have uh, oftentimes the women in the Haitian population who are arriving and in this community um, tend to can have higher risk pregnancies. Um, and we are working on programs to improve mm -hmm. the care and to reduce the incidence of maternal mortality and morbidity, especially in the Haitian population. Donc, très souvent, mesdames, vous êtes en Haïti, vous êtes en Haïti, vous êtes en Haïti pour accoucher, et vous avez un taux de mortalité qui est le plus grand parce que vous êtes l'autre groupe. Et qu'est-ce que vous êtes en Haïti qui sont ici? Same, you know, we're finding, uh, in general, we are Uh, working to um, uh, reduce uh, chronic diseases that impact pregnancy, like high blood pressure, high blood pressure, uh, diabetes, diabetes, um, uh, to uh, reduce um, the risk related to having a high risk pregnancy. So there are many factors that lead to sometimes uh, the mortality. Of the newborn, of the of the mom, and the mother of too. The mom. Some mothers die too. Yes, yeah, so maternal mor uh, mortality and morbidity is when there is a, a mom that may pass away that's related to pregnancy uh -huh. or may become very sick. Maybe their their blood is they have low blood counts or oh. they have uh, diseases related to high blood pressure. Okay. Okay, very good. So, yeah. and when you go to Haiti, you have the same problem, eh? It, yes, Haiti unfortunately has uh, the highest rates of uh, maternal mortality, which is maternal a death mortality. of a mom related to Mama pregnancy. La, la um, in the Western Hemisphere, they do have the highest Donc, rates of dans, that. Dans l'hémisphère de l'Ouest, que morto qui de femmes qui mourit dans l'accouchement en Haïti puis passer toute l'autre côté l'un pays américain. 
And uh, other things within gynecology we may see are fibroids, fibrom. Fibrom, um, uh, fibroid. Anemia. Anemia, anemia. Um, high blood pressure, diabetes. High blood pressure, diabetes. Uh, all very uh, common uh, within the Haitian population. So, c'est peut-être ça que nous pourrions inviter Dr. Pardo pour le tourner encore. Il pourra le bail plusieurs informations pour aider Mesdames Haïtiennes à faire face à problèmes sayo que qui paraissent en mettant population noire à un taux plus élevé. Ok. Mais euh, espérer que nous suivre le programme sayo parce que pourra le très bon. Et libral, c'est chez moi même, pas les créoles, puis plus. <laughs> même, les, bien que libral écrit, ça le gain pour le dire, pour ça, c'est plus clair. Parce que le lap, pas les créoles, les ont déjà hésité, les pas joué de mots tout de suite. Mais ben, les créoles, ils ont fini très bien. Very, very good. Also, we have, uh, we are going to have an. Uh, an a show on March 16 of five Haitian women, uh, including uh, a, not assembly woman, Solage. And uh, on March 16, we hope that you will participate. Yes, I would okay. Be very, happy to. very, very, very good. Uh, also, when you go to Haiti, you are sponsored by some global organization. You work with uh, Dr. Sans Frontières, no? No, no, no. So actually right now I am the uh, organization that I'm working with is the State University of New York. So the State University of New York has uh, partnered with um, uh, the Kellogg Foundation. Which uh, foundation? Kellogg Foundation. Ah, Kellogg. Kellogg uh. Foundation for this development project. So oh, that's interesting to know that uh, the Brooklyn Hospital uh, as partners with Kellogg, you know, Kellogg, you know, the, uh, the cereals uh -huh. yes. <laughs> and to have a, a, a program in Haiti, is that it? Yes, it's, it's actually the State University of New York. So the, the State University the of State New York. The State University of New York, which is, has 64 campuses, the largest public education system and obviously has a lot of Haitian diaspora within its faculty and students and are working together for this project in Haiti. Oh, okay. And is it a new project or what? No. It has been in the works for uh, three um, uh, plus years. Uh -huh. uh, form in planning, um, they formally announced it, I believe, uh, last year that they're working on this. and. Um, and that's the current uh, project in, in Akai. That, well, it's that very I'm good. Thinking. So it's a program that has been kind of uh, worked out over the past three years, and now it's, uh, they are making a step forward, yes. and they are going to build something in Akai. Yes. Okay, but we need more than one yes, campus. Yes, huh? yes, yes. I hope because <laughs> transportation is not easy yes. in Haiti. So. They should be have one by Jeremy yes. and one by <laughs> Cavaillon. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. Well, well, we have to start somewhere. So, that's uh, right. They're, 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 you know, uh, SUNY and Kellogg are, are really uh, doing um, a great work in, in, in pushing this forward. Oh, okay. And we have a priest here in the Diocese of Brooklyn who is from Arcaille, okay. Father Yvon Pierre. He's okay. a pastor of St. Jerome Church. Okay. So do you have good relationship with a woman of Long Island <laughs> and, or Brooklyn or Long Island? You don't have a private clinic, do you? I do, I do not have a private clinic. I, I work for the state at uh, SUNY Downstate and I do excuse me, see my, my patients uh, there. I, I love to work in the immigrant community. I love my, my Haitian patients. Even though my curl is not 100%, they love to, to see me and then uh, I can communicate with me, with them, and mm -hmm. then I'm, you know, also a, a child um, of, of Haiti and in uh, Long Island. Um, I've, I've never worked clinically in uh -huh. Nassau County, um, so most of the, the community that I know um, as a doctor is here in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. So we are delighted to see how much you are uh, devoted to the Haitian community. Uh, here and in Haiti, it's marvelous. 
and we want to encourage you. Uh, you are certainly an asset to the Haitian community and to the state uh, of New York. Uh, so we look forward to this program that we will be developing here in Radio Tele Solidarité, where you will kind of open the eyes of our Haitian, Haitian ladies as to the health challenges that they face and how they can uh, overcome and uh, it, you know, uh, resolve these uh, health problems so that we will have healthy children <laughs> and healthy mothers <laughs> and a healthy diaspora. Yes. So we thank you very much for this interview and I'm sure that our audience has fallen in love with you and I'm sure that they will be uh, anxious to really listen to you in your future uh, communications. Thank you very much so. for uh, inviting and having me here. Um, you know, I, I'd like to say that, um, you know, certainly I, I'm not alone. Um, this, uh, you know, as we consider ourselves first generation Haitian American, there are so many of us in different professions. Mm -hmm. And what's great about now is so many of us are coming together and figuring, you know, and having a voice and figuring out how we can help our communities here um, and in Haiti. Um, uh, so uh, I'm very excited about that. Very good. We are delighted to hear that. And you are a good Catholic, aren't you? No? Yes, yes. Okay. I, I, you believe I'm in Catholic. Jesus? I believe in Jesus. God bless you. <laughs> we are delighted to have you here. Yes. Thank you. Je suis 
Thank you.